If you woke up this morning feeling like, I need a good challenge, then this souffle pancake is the one to try. So this one's really cool because I'm only using one egg and it makes two small pancakes. So I'm gonna start by separating my egg. I'm gonna crack the egg whites and keep it in a larger bowl and then the egg yolk in this smaller one. To our egg yolk, I'm gonna add a little bit of flour, a little bit of cornstarch. The addition of the cornstarch will help lighten up the batter. Some vanilla extract and milk. Now I'm just gonna mix everything together. All right. That's done, and now we move on to our egg whites. So I'm gonna start mixing the egg white until it's nice and foamy, and then I'm gonna gradually add in my sugar while I'm mixing, until we get nice stiff peaks. So you wanna look for stiff peaks that stand up like that. If it's like droopy or falling over, keep mixing. So now that our egg white is whipped, I'm gonna add half of our egg mixture, our egg yolk mixture, into the egg whites and beat it so it's thoroughly mixed. At this stage, don't be worried about being too rough on it. And now we add the rest. And then at this stage, you wanna gently fold everything in. What I like to do is just do a circular motion and cut through the middle. Circular motion, cut through the middle until it's all mixed in. You're probably looking at seven or eight strokes. At this point, just make sure you don't overmix it. It still looks nice and fluffy. All right, so here I have a nonstick skillet that's pretty heavy duty, and I'm gonna turn the heat to medium. As it's preheating, I'm gonna add just a tiny little bit of neutral oil. I'm using avocado oil here. I'll let it get hot, and then with a paper towel, I'm just gonna spread it um, around the bottom of the pan. Even though this pan is nonstick, you just want some extra insurance. Once the pan feels hot, I'm gonna take my ice cream scooper and then I'm gonna make little mounds of the souffle pancake. Each one is gonna get three little mounds on top of each other, but I'm just gonna start with two right now. And then add two teaspoons of water. Don't worry if it does that. Cover it up and let it steam for about two minutes before we add the remaining dollops. All right, so now we're gonna add another dollop right on top and continue steaming it for about one to two minutes until it looks kind of dried out. All right. Now this is the, probably the most challenging part for me, the flipping. I've learned that flipping always messes it up, so I'm gonna try to just roll it over. Yes! That was a miracle! <laughs> oh, that was challenging. Again, we add our water, cover it up, and another three to four minutes this time. Turn off the heat and just use your fingers to test if it's done. If it's like jiggly and firm, it's pretty much done. It tends to deflate after you take it off and transfer it to the plate. So I kind of just let it sit for another minute just to make sure it's fully cooked. So I've transferred it to a plate and now I'm gonna dust it with some powdered sugar, strawberries of course, get a nice mound on there. And to make our days even more cheery, some chamomile flowers that I plucked from my garden. You guys can definitely drizzle some syrup over this, it would be delicious, but I kind of wanted to show you guys the inside. It's nice and custardy, but at the same time, it's still super fluffy and jiggly. It kind of reminds me of the Japanese cheesecake, you know, like that jiggly one. That's my favorite part about eating this, is just how like fluffy and jiggly it is. It's so fun. And it does require a little bit of technique, but it's so worth it once you finally nail it down, which I hope you guys are going to with the help of this recipe video. Mm. It's like having dessert for breakfast.